This is huge. What if we can create a chat bot that can remember our previous conversation with chat GPT? What if we create an interface for our Aston's API and it is much more easier than Streamlit? That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about Assistance API with Gradio. In the Gradio interface, you will be able to continuously chat via Assistance API and make chat GPT remember your previous conversation. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to run this. Before going into that, I regularly create videos in regards to AI in my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and stay tuned. Coming to Assistance API and Gradio, first you create an assistant Next, you create a thread and thirdly, you create a message and fourth, you run the assistant. I've already covered this in the previous video, which I will link in the description below. Gradio integration is much more easy than Streamlit in regards to the number of lines of code. To install Gradio in your terminal, pip install Gradio and click enter. Coming back to the code, import Gradio as GR. Next, we are going to keep client, file, assistant and then the thread as it is because we don't want to create assistant and thread every single time we submit the query. We are going to define the message and the run inside a main function. Define main query and I'm adding everything under that. Selecting that and adding a tab. In the function I'm passing query and that query will go in content. Next we need to return a response for the Gradio app. When the status equals completed, instead of printing this, I'm going to add that to a response variable response equals empty. I'm defining that and then I'm adding that here. Response plus equals backslash and backslash and for new line and return response backslash and back for extra spaces. In the else statement, I'm going to say continue. Continue until the status says completed. And finally, creating a Gradio interface, GR interface, function main, inputs text, output text and the title is chatbot.launch. Once after you do that, you can assign that to a variable iFace. Next line, iFace.launch. That's it. Just four simple steps. First, you created a function and put all the message and the run inside the function. You pass the query to the content. Next, you create a response variable and return the output. And finally, you add the iFace variable and create the interface using Gradio. Now we are going to run this code. In your terminal, python assistance gradio.py. That's where my code is. Now we got the URL. I'm going to navigate to this URL. I am in the user interface now. I'm going to ask, tell me about Don Spunky and click submit. Now it's processing. Now I got a response. So the user, tell me about Don Spunky. That's the question. And we got the answer here. The song Don Spunky is performed by Tones and I. This is from the text file I gave as input. Now I'm going to ask Don Spunky decibel and click submit. You can see the dance monkey decibel is minus 64. Now I'm going to ask, tell me about underdog decibel. The song underdog decibel is minus 4.726. Again, I'm going to ask, what are my previous conversations? And click submit. It's processing the results. As an AI model, I do not have the ability to recall personal data. It's talking about the personal data. I'm going to rephrase my question. What were we talking about? Now got a response here. What were we talking about? We were discussing the song Dance Monkey by Tunes and I and we were discussing about the decibel and we were talking about underdog and the decibel as well. That's it. Now you just created a chatbot using Aston's API. This is just a basic interface. You can build from this. Do let me know in the comments below what you think about this. I'm going to create more videos in regards to Aston's API. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.